incoming call. Oh no. Clank, Bubby, you're killing me! Excuse me? I'm trying to make a picture here, and Mr. Big Shot Star is nowhere to be found. I am currently occupied with a mission of galactic security. Right, right, I get it. You want a bigger trailer? Done. You want a daily oil massage? Done. I need my star on the set pronto, capiche? Uh, you're uh, breaking up. You know, I can see you, weasel boy. Oh, yeah? How about now? He'll figure something out. We've got work to do. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Ratchet Gang 3 Up Your Arsenal walkthrough. This is part 5, I believe, and we are now going to Planet Aquatos. Here we are on Planet Aquatos. You know we're here to infiltrate Nefarious's um, base or whatever. We're going to go to some kind of an office he has uh, to uh, see if we can find some information and all of that good stuff. Let's see if we want to get some weapons. We just bought, uh, what's it called, the Tempest or Spitting... Uh, Oh, I don't know, the sock cannon, what did I buy? I don't know. So we're going to take this down. I And then we're going to meet up with uh, Skid McMarks. Skid? What are you doing here? My code name is Shadow Dude, bro. Black Ops are my speciality. I figured you guys could use my help. Uh, thanks, Shadow Dude, but I think we've got this one covered. All right, I'll just take my hacker and go back to the ship. Hacker? Oh, well, you know, on second thought, I think we'd like you to join the mission, Shadow Dude. Awesome! This is gonna be sick! So Skid McMarks is actually going to join us um, for some parts of this uh, planet because he has the hacker. And... Um, we're actually going to be getting that gadget ourselves later on in uh, the game, but we don't have it for the moment, but uh, we will get the hacker later on in the game. Not too long until we get that, I, if I remember correctly. So, Planet Aquatos. I actually really enjoy this planet. Um, it's quite an important planet and we'll get into that later because there's quite a lot you can actually do on this planet even after you're done with the story part of it. There's some things you can do. Um, but I enjoy this planet and I actually love the way that it looks. Not right now because we're kind of inside and in some tunnels it looks like. But I do love the outside of it. Um, in the water. We don't actually go outside into the water because um, we'll die. But I love how it looks out there because the water looks great and um, and there's beautiful colors and also who did I get hit by? That guy. And also because of like uh, the shells and plants and all of that stuff. I just love the way uh, the outside of Pan Aquatos looks. But we don't get to go outside there. And I just upgraded the N60 Storm to be a version 2. So that's great. Uh, remember to keep using your weapons to try and upgrade them. Uh, because uh, of course the weapons get more powerful when you upgrade them. And I don't really, I don't really like to buy new weapons when I have other weapons that I haven't upgraded yet. So I like to try and upgrade the weapons that I have before I buy new ones. I just think that it's uh, good to do that. Uh, so that you don't like buy loads and loads of new weapons without really upgrading many of them. So I like to do that. 
And yeah, we actually do have this gadget too. What's it called? The Hydro... Um, no... Hydro Pack, I think it's called. Which helps us to uh, swim faster. I remember when we got this gadget in um, Ratchet and Clank. That was on Planet Sight. Not Siberia, so that's in uh, Roger Going 2. What's the name of that planet in Roger Going 1? The Snowy Planet. Can't remember the name, but I love that planet. I love the first Roger Going game. I love all of them, as I've said many times, but you know, grew up with that one. And yeah, Sasha just said that something here, which is moving towards us. So we'll see what that is. I'm going to use the hard, uh, the sock cannon because it's important to upgrade that too. So it's kind of like this huge monster looking thing. And we just got a sewer crystal. And that is actually the reason why you have a lot of things you can actually do on this planet. I won't talk more about the sewer crystals. But I think you can already guess um, what you can do later on on this planet by the fact that we just got a crystal. And if you did see it, there is actually a titanium bolt right down here. So let's pick up the titanium bolt and then we can continue on. And uh, the Skid Magmarty won't be with us uh, the entire planet, just some parts of it. Not too long really. And it's just the same kinds of enemies right here, the, the amoeboids and also these uh, other enemies that for some reason they're trying to take out the amoeboids. I don't know why they're trying to kill the amoeboids, but uh, they are. I don't know the story behind that or if there even is a story. Who knows? And it really, it scares me every time an enemy comes out of these uh, doors that you just opened. Because then they just come out firing at you and it's kind of unexpected. And it scares me every time. But I'm easily scared and I get scared many times. All the time I get scared. People scare me very easily. Pick up the health, the nano attack if I need it. And we have one more of these pools that we need to uh, swim through because of that locked door that we can't open unless we go around the door. I thought there was like a titanium bolt in one of these pools, but I guess I was mistaken or it might have been in the first one, just me not looking for it or something like that. But I thought, I really did think that there was a titanium bolt um, in one of these pools. But I might just have missed it or something like that. But I didn't get a titanium bolt when I was in the, when I were in these pools. I remember that from recording this. I actually recorded this a long time ago, not too long, but a few months I've actually recorded the whole game finished I just need to upload all of it but first edit it before I upload it of course so there we go our second zero crystal on uh, planet Aquatos so here's Goodman Wars again joins us Hurry up and extend the bridge, Skid. You won't uh, use this gadget before we've taken out the enemies though. And that's the N60 Storm version 3. There we go. Let's get across now. Pick up the rest of the boats because I need every single boat. And let's go with this 
elevator, I guess. You can see the outside of Planet Quattos right now. I think it looks so beautiful. I love the outside of it. Let's meet up with an old friend. Clank, did you hear that? We are not alone. Hey, uh, dudes. I uh, forgot to feed my goldfish. I'll see you back at the... Well, if it ain't two of my best customers. Slim Cognito? What are you doing down here? I had a small run-in with the cops concerning a suck cannon upgrade that was mistakenly sold to a miner. I swear the kid looked 18. Anyway, I needed to find a less conspicuous place to do business. I take it you two are still in the market? Well, let's see what you've got. Yep, Slim Cognito is in this game as well. So what he does is uh, you can actually get your previous weapon that you had in Sl um, I almost said Sly too. I mean Ratchet and Clank too. You can get your weapons that you had in uh, Ratchet and Clank too. You just need to check your uh, save data. So let's get the lava gun and the uh, mini chart off. Did I buy them or not? I can't remember. It appears I didn't buy them. <laughs> I don't know. And also, you can also, um, let's go to Nefarious' base. You can also, um, upgrade the weapons that you got from Ratchet Mang 2 as well. So you can upgrade them. And I would suggest getting the weapons from Ratchet Mang 2 because if you, if you're out of ammo, you can, you always have the weapons from Ratchet Mang 2 to use as well if you need them. There's the ventilation shaft. We must split up here. Yeah. Well, I guess it's time to put on the Tira guys and go meet my new pals. Good luck. I will assist you if I can. <laughs> Perhaps you should have read the instruction manual. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Ratchet. <laughs> So now Ratchet and Clank are splitting up because uh, we need to infiltrate Nefarious space and I actually die right here. Yep, there I died. Right at the start. So if I remember correctly, if I do, this is the first time we're playing as Clank in this game. And now we're also getting the banana gun and also Squinch is in there. I hope his name is Crunch, if I remember correctly. Or Crunch, Scrunch, I think. It's something like that. So what you do with him is that you use the banana gun, because he will run to every single banana. You know how monkeys are. You use him to get bridges up, because he will stand on buttons and stuff like that. So he's very useful. I need you to extend the bridge at Junction G5. And now we get to play as Ratchet, but as a terror guy, as a Tyranoid, because of the Tyranoid guys, you know. What you do when you're a Tyranoid is that you talk to other Tyranoids. That's basically all that you do when you use the terror guys. You talk with them like that, so that they will open uh, doors for you and stuff like that. And that's all that you use the terror guys for, just to talk with other Tyranoids. These talks that you have with Tyranoids actually get a bit more difficult as you get further into the game, and they will also get a bit longer and stuff like that. And I like the fact that um, these messages that you have with the other two notes or the talks that you have, they're actually quite funny if you read the messages that they have between them. Sometimes they're quite funny. 
So I was just reading them because it's quite entertaining. And you also press the um, the arrows and also um, the bo uh, the symbols on your PlayStation controller. So that extended the bridge, so that Kank can uh, get further on with his mission. And actually, the monkey gets hit by these lasers, which I find funny. I'm quite uh, mean like that. So we need the monkey to stand on the button. So just throw out a banana and he will go for it. And also stand on the button yourself so that you can get through because we need him. So we just got the Gadgetbots, and the Gadgetbots actually change name in like every single Ration Clan game. They've been called like Microbots, and uh, now they're Gadgetbots. Can't remember what they were called in Ratchet Clank 1, but they were Microbots in Ratchet Clank 2. So they always change their, their names, which is, I don't know why they do that, but uh, they do. But that's okay. I love these Gadgetbots. As I've said in Rattling Wing 1 and also Rattling Wing 2, when I was younger, I used to, when I played as Clank, I used to call them like Clank's nephews and stuff like that. Because I can't, I actually really thought that they were Clank's nephews when I was a lot younger, when I was playing uh, Rattling Wing 1 and 2. I thought that they were Clank's nephews. And I think that's quite cute that I thought that. I like that fact. So I keep calling them Clank's nephews because I just I just think it's cute how I thought that they were Clank's nephews. So I think you guys should also call them Clank's nephews. So back as the Turnoid, as as Ratchet, And uh, let's get to Nefarious' base. Yeah, they're all watching Secret Agent Clank in this game. So let's get this Terranoid to extend the bridge for us. <laughs> he can't trust us, it seems. Not good. <laughs> I'm definitely not a Lombax. Yep. So, you can already see Nefiris' office or whatever through that. What took you so long? Clank, uh, what are you doing here? You're supposed to meet me on the surface. I thought I would help. Well, you can give me a hand searching Dr. Nefarious' office. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see. Oh, look at this. The complete Secret Agent Clank Holovid collection. <laughs> this guy's your biggest fan. That is rather disturbing. I have downloaded an encrypted star map. Perhaps Al can decode it. Great. Let's get back to the Phoenix. Apparently, Nefarious is a really huge fan of the Secret Agent Clank. And I like the fact that this is actually the voting screen. It looks nice. So, we finished infiltrating Nefarious' space. So, now we'll just have to leave. And Russian Clank will drop into this water, which looks really dirty. This area you will actually go to, you won't go to this area in the story, you can go here if you want to, to pick up other crystals. And we'll learn more about that now, as you can see the crystal is in uh, the bottom right corner, so let's learn more about the crystals. You two again, right on schedule. 
This here is one of the nastiest, smelliest sewers in the galaxy. Most guys wouldn't set foot in a place like this, but me? Ah, I just can't get enough. Right. Well, we were just passing through. You can get back to whatever you were doing. Hey, if you find any sewer crystals, I'll pay you for them in bolts. I'm making something special for the missus. Sewer crystals. Uh-huh. We'll keep that in mind. Ah, fresh from the bowels of a king amoeboid. Yeah, you can actually uh, collect crystals in this game as well. There are 99 zero crystals to get. If you remember, we got, uh, we collected moon crystals and also, uh, what's the name of the other crystals? The icy ones in our thing to collect them. You can also collect crystals in this game as well. They're a good way to get bolts. And you also can get titanium bolts in that area and also skill point so you need to do it you have to do it to get 100 but i'm not doing it because i'm not doing this 100 and i love the fact that uh, the um, that the plumber is in this game as well i love the plumber he's in almost every single ratchet link game and he's actually in the ratchet link one two times so yeah of your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. Quark! Oh, Janice, you will always be the love of my You really should have that looked at. Back! That moron could never hope to match wits with the likes of me. If anyone can beat a moron at his own game, it's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q Force. What? This Q Force must be stopped. Destroy them. Eradicate them. Annihilate them all. <laughs> It's on my to-do list, right after folding your undergarments. Nefarious seems really angry about us infiltrating his base. But now we'll be returning to the Starship Phoenix. Team, I believe some congratulations are in order. <laughs> After all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. Well? Uh, way to go, dude? Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. Uh. Now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. All right, let's get to it. Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi. I was just wondering, what are the rest of you going to be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day. But we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Yeah, ma'am, we got your back. <laughs> the plan is excellent. 
They're all so lazy, all of them. So we just got the coordinates for planet Terranosis. We'll be going there in the next part to take out more Terranoids. And uh, that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed Planet Kotos and uh, all of that. So join me back in the next part. Uh, part 6. Oh, a new suit of armor is available to buy, so we'll just check it out. How expensive is it? Oh, we just need 5,000 more bolts. We'll get that soon. So join me in the next part, part 6, for Planet Terranosis. See you then.